have a slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness The bold and the beautiful spoilage reveals that Flo and Wyatt had been planning to get married before, but Flo had resigned from Forced Creations and had been out of town with Wyatt for a while. Fans know, don't know what caused Wyatt and Flo to leave town without giving any reason to anyone. Therefore, since they left the scriptwriter no longer mentions those two characters, feeling that the characters Wyatt and Flo never existed in the B&B, fans also gradually forgot about them. When one day Wyatt returned to the screen but returned alone instead of with Flo, what problem did Flo encounter during Wyatt and Flo's disappearance? Did no one mention Flo's existence while Wyatt and Flo prepared to get married? What happened? Before that, because Flo helped Reese kidnap Hope's child, which made Brooke extremely angry, Flo's actions also made everyone hate Flo. After learning of her fault, she asked Brooke and Hope's forgiveness. Brooke didn't forgive her at first, but after learning that Flo's father was the Logan family, she decided to ignore everything and forgive Flo. Fans saw that Flo worked together at Brooke, Katie, and Donna's, so it's correct that Brooke forgave Flo, but for everyone, even though they don't hate Flo anymore, they still don't have any feelings for Flo. Maybe that's why no one mentioned Flo. Besides, when Wyatt just returned, the first person he met was his brother, Liam. Liam and Wyatt are famous, being B brothers and loving each other, always supporting each other's decisions, and after a period of not seeing each other, Wyatt and Liam certainly have a lot of stories to tell each other. Wyatt and Liam spent a lot of time sitting and talking, asking about their health and life in the past time. What has changed? However, only Liam talks about his life and everyone else, and Wyatt always avoids talking about his life after leaving town and the reason for returning to town. But Flo was both engaged to Wyatt and with him left town. Everyone thought they would go on to their honeymoon first because they would be very busy after they got married. Maybe Liam knew Wyatt didn't want to talk about Flo, although Liam wanted to know what happened between the two of them, but he respected Wyatt's decision not to ask him anything about Flo. So Wyatt asked about his father, Bill. Having found a suitable woman for his father, he felt that his father had been lonely for too long and it was time to find a Bill a life of a partner and ask about Hope's marriage and he's still going to well or is he still having feelings for Steffi? On the other hand, there are some who guess that Wyatt and Flo broke up while leaving this town. Maybe there was a conflict between them or maybe they realized that they were not compatible. So they decided to break up. So who will Wyatt turn to to start a new love? Before that, Wyatt and Katie had a deep love. Moreover, her marriage to Bill broke down. However, Katie also has a love affair with Wyatt, like Carter, but maybe Katie will have to give it up because Carter belongs to Quinn. Could Wyatt see and take advantage of Katie's singleness and pursue her again? As for Bill, perhaps his and Katie's return was hopeless. As a result, will Bill's progress to a new relationship with the woman he saved by the peer, Lee Finnegan? Of course, fans will choose Katie to return to Wyatt because they feel that Wyatt and Katie were born for each other. Their love is intense, sweet, and a little bit mixed. This is the dynamic of youth. Moreover, besides Wyatt, Katie doesn't have anyone else to choose from because the character that the writer surrounds Katie is too small. The cast is still on a tight budget, but the scriptwriter skillfully turned the film's shortcomings to weaknesses, which made the film more and more popular around the world and made fans more and more passionate about B&B.